Okay, um, I'm going to turn the mic over to Luke Robinson. Luke Robinson is the founder of Two Million Dogs. Um, he's going to talk a little bit about his journey, um, and then we'll start off the walk. And one thing I want to let everybody know is, at the end of the walk, make sure you stop where the walk starts to pick up your goodie bag. Okay, everybody gets a goodie bag, so make sure you stop at the end of the walk. I'm going to turn it over to Luke now. I know, what a cutie. Do you guys see me behind this right here? Okay. You know, I realized a little while ago that I had given all my cause bracelets up the other day when we were out. Uh, and about in Chicago, and I went up to the table and grabbed one, and the guy charged me two bucks for it. I'm like, hey, worthy cause, I'll pay it. But you know what that speaks to me? It says that we're doing such a great job of growing this organization that very few people know who founded it. Heck, they thought I was a camera guy here. I want to thank Karen and her team uh, for the hard work they did this past year to get me and the famous, fabulous Fezzy Butts here today. We go to the city uh, that raises the most money, and uh, you guys beat Connecticut, I think, by $100, and you're neck and neck. Yeah, those nutmeggers. <laughs> and I think you're neck and neck this year, too. Um, I'm really honored to be here in the Windy City. It's one of my favorite parts in the country, and, uh, and what about this park? I mean, this is awesome. Fireplace is a wonderful venue for the Puppy Up Walk, and that's what I want to talk to you briefly about. You know, I get asked a lot about the meaning of Puppy Up and how I came up with it. Well, I come from Texas, and down there, they say, Cowboy Up. But cowboys can't hold a candle to the undaunted spirit and, and courage of our canine, canine counterparts. Back in 2007, before I left to walk from Austin to Boston, I knew the road would be long and hard and rife with challenges. I thought of Malcolm, my boy, who inspired all of this, and his fight with bone cancer, and that he refused to give up and give in until the end. But even in his last weeks of life, he still had silly in him. So I wanted to come up with a saying to be a rally cry for when times got tough on the road, but funny too, and a reminder that never take yourself too seriously. And that's puppy up. I mean, just say it. Puppy up. You just feel better when you say it. One of the first stories I wanted to share with you from our cross-country walk is from Truett, Texas. We were walking on Highway 79 heading north, and uh, there was this woman coming around the bend with big Coke bottle glasses uh, on her. I could, she was driving in an old truck, and I could see her a quarter mile away. I could see her big glasses. And she was driving on the shoulder, so I was thinking she wanted to stop and say hi. And uh, very quickly I learned that that's not what she was doing. She wasn't slowing down. So within a few seconds, I had to throw Hudson and Murphy off the road and dive over top of them. And uh, when you're carrying 100 pounds of gear on you, that's not an easy thing to do. And thankfully, Hudson and Murphy, they were okay, uninjured. But I hit hard. After getting back up on my feet and swearing a few times, I looked at my boys and said, my God, we almost got hit by Mr. Magoo's wife. <laughs> but Puppy Up isn't just some cutesy, playful expression. Puppy Up is having the will and determination to walk through rain, snow, sleet, gale force winds, and freezing temperatures, and triple digit heat waves. It's walking across 16 states against all odds. Puppy Up is when I had to call my dogs during a lightning storm in Periopolis, Pennsylvania when we were in our t tents and bolts of lightning were splitting trees all around us. I gotta tell you, in that tent, I wasn't even sure we were gonna make it out alive of that first storm. Puppy Up is a promise. It is the promise I made to Malcolm to find out why he got this dreadful disease. It's the promise I made to myself and to Hudson and Murphy to get safely across the 2300 miles. It's a promise that I have made to each and every one of you who have been touched by cancer here. And it's a promise I will continue to keep throughout my lifetime. Puppy up is what you have to do when the vet gives you the news. I'm sorry, it's cancer. And lastly, puppy up is having the strength to carry your son's lifeless body 
the final few feet to his final destination, as I did with Murphy. One year almost to the day after we ended our walk. <clears throat> Folks, cancer is the world's greatest pandemic, and we must all puppy up together and unite to fight this common killer. It's nature's greatest enemy, and it does not discriminate between pets and people. I have traveled far and long, and I have seen enough to break the hearts of a nation. An eight-week-old puppy with mast cell tumors. A little girl in Connecticut diagnosed with leukemia, age two. Entire families and communities wiped out by cancer. And that doesn't even begin to scratch the surface of the things that I've seen on my travels. We're about to puppy up together and do this walk and walk around this beautiful park. And that's great, but it just isn't good enough. Coming together once a year is one thing, but tomorrow, next week, next month, we must continue to puppy up every single day, united in this cause, or else we have no hope to see the end of the worst scourge this planet has ever faced. We must puppy up, especially when it's inconvenient, when we're beat up and bloody, when it costs us considerably, and when it hurts us so much. Puppy up again with only two dogs, and together, Together, all of us here will turn that two into two million dogs through blood, sweat, tears, and belief. To believe that we can see the end of cancer in our lifetime. That's what Puppy Up stands for.